Hello viewers, this is Mwali Mundolo. Today I have three students. We are going to do different practicals for each of them. These are students who are doing homeschooling and at Masset Lab Academy, this is where they belong so that they can be able to be helped to, to carry out the experiments. We are going to do a number of experiments that is in electricity, uh, mechanics, uh, that is finding the density volume of a given substance which we'll be able to see in the room. And then we're also going to find, do some balancing uh, that is on mechanics, try to find the mass of a given rule using some method which we'll be able to see in a few minutes. So welcome you all as we embark on our first physics lesson. Thank you. This one here is 50. So this one is 50. Uh, if you want to add, if you want to go to the 100, yeah, there's a. Uh, times 0 0.1 divided by 5, which will be able to find 0 
So each small box is 0 0.02. So it means this is 0 0.02 that way until 1. So this is 0 0.12, 0 0.14, 0 0.16. So 0 0.16 is here. Use a ruler. 0 0.16 is there. And then we are putting this against 20. So where do they meet? Here. So that is the point. 0 0.16 against 20. So we do the same for 40. You are uh, encouraged to draw. If you're drawing, it's okay to use uh, a pencil. But then when answering questions, that you don't use a pen. Huh? But now that today you don't have a pencil, <laughs> you can just use your pen to draw. Yeah. yeah. So can you identify two points on the line? Uh, yeah, then you find the change in y, and then you're supposed to show that on the graph. You know how to show that, where you're supposed to draw like the triangle. Yeah. First of all, identify the two points you want to use on the graph. Just identify, mark the two points you want, you want to use. Can you do that? Yeah. And then the point that you're going to use, ensure that they are on the line, not the one you plotted. Remember you're drawing a line of best fit. So, what you're saying is that, Against which one are you putting? Mass. Mass. That is in grams, right? Mm -hmm. S is a ratio, so there is no unit. Now, let's say you plot your points. Uh, let's say these are your points, mm -hmm. and then you want to draw line of best fit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you will use your ruler. Because you'll use your ruler, and then check, uh, draw the line of best fit whereby the majority, so some of the points, most of the points are on the line, or you ensure that at least the same number of uh, points on top and the same number of points on below. So if you're supposed to draw this, you can pass somewhere here. Just pass through that. Now, when you want to find the gradient of this particular point, uh, what do we do? You choose the point on the line, not the one you plotted. You see that most of the ones that are plotted are outside the graph. Yeah. So what do you do? You want to choose a point, this, and let's say somewhere here. Mm -hmm. The points you want to choose should be at least more half or more than that. So this is the triangle that we draw to show this side here is the change in S from here to here. The change in S, then from here to here is the change in M. So if let's say this point here is uh, maybe 20, 0 0.2, and this part here is let's say 60. Uh -huh. So if this part here is let's say 60, maybe 0 0.82. So what is the y? Remember, if you have 20, 0 0.2, so this is the x, then this is the y. This part also the same, 60, so this is the x, this is the y. So change in s, change in s will be 0 0.82 minus 0 0.2. Change in m, that is going to be 60 minus 20. Right, uh, Bernard? 60 minus 20, right? So that is going to be 60 minus 20. And after getting that, then you know that the gradient of the graph is given there by G, is given by change in S over change in M, or change in Y over change in X. So for that value, just take the value that you got here. What will be the 0 0.82 minus 0 0.2. Can you confirm if it is 0 0.62? 5. And you see the values we are using here, these are two significant figures. So therefore, our answer will be 0 0.016 into two significant figures. But then we can able to see the unit. Look at this. Um, S has no unit, but then this is grams. So we can have this is per, per gram. Mm, per gram. I'm just trying to understand the value. Uh, you know, I know you can try to force. Probably the points are not even uh, <laughs> on the line, and then you want to, to force them.
three questions are. Now, the last question we raise about planning, what you're seeing here right now. So a student suggests that the area of the water surface will affect the rate of cooling of hot water in a container. Plan an experiment to investigate the relationship between surface area and the rate of cooling. Now for this case here, you need to think which apparatus do the going to need. That will give you around one mark. How will you obtain a range of surface areas? Instructions for carrying out experiment. The measurements you will take. So as, as you're going to read, write your values. You need to write like point form. I like what she's doing. Huh? So you write as if you're writing some stories. You don't need to mark them at one by one. Or one. Oh. Uh -huh. Just read pros. It is the work of the examiner to look for the answers. But at, the, at your mind, as you are writing it, ensure that you're doing what? You are answering these questions, yeah, even if it's as pros. So because the first thing that you're going, the first time you're going to do, though, though for you guys, uh, for you guys, it this the like, uh, you know, sometimes we do something like this. For Ben, it will be the first time to do this kind of question. So what I want to see is this. Look at this question and do what you think is right, the best. Then from there, can you go to guide me? Can you go to, you know, take you one by one from what you've done, okay? Yeah. Uh, my name is Mohamed Dahir. Uh, I'm Ben Mayro. My name is Zainab Amar. Uh, my teacher is uh, Mr. Ndolo. He teaches physics and math. He's a very good teacher. I like him a lot. Uh, he's, he's funny. He's confident. He's, I like how he teaches. He explains everything like accurately. Uh, Mr. Ndolo is a very good teacher. I think he's, he's great at what he does and he's He's, he's good, he's very good. My teacher's name is Mr. Endolo, and he's a good guy. He's like, he's professional at his work. I like how he teaches.